Hi, welcome to DoctorSecrets.com. I'm DR, and today we're going to talk about mastitis. This actually strikes close to home because my wife just had this a few weeks ago with her uh, little newborn baby boy, and I've seen it several times in uh, breastfeeding moms in clinic. So this is Amanda, the mom, and she's been breastfeeding her little bundle of joy. And um, a couple weeks into it, she suddenly notices that she feels as though she's coming down with something. Like she's getting fever, she's getting uh, sweats, um, she's getting cold chills. But strangely, there's no runny nose, no cough, and no sore throat. But what she does notice is that one of her breasts is also intensely painful to touch. It's very tender. And this tenderness goes far beyond... Uh, the typical nipple latching kind of soreness or discomfort. This is like something deep inside and it's throbbing and intense. She may also feel that the breast itself actually feels warm or the skin on the outside looks kind of reddish. Um, and that constellation of symptoms, the fever, the chills, the cold sweats is, um, and the breast pain, that differentiates it from other infections like a respiratory tract infection or uterine infection, for example. Now, the good news about this condition is that if you catch it while it's small, you can kill the monster before it turns into Godzilla. So there's a few things you can do at home for it, but I really would encourage you to attend uh, healthcare services because it's so easy to get rid of using, of course, oral antibiotics, which you can't just get over the counter. But from home, you can try stuff like um, warm compresses. You can also try um, acetaminophen, Tylenol, or ibuprofen, Advil. Uh, to reduce some of the soreness and pain and keep expressing the milk because what's causing the um, mastitis in the first place is you know what happens if you take milk and leave it out on your kitchen counter um, it goes rancid and it starts to smell awful and that's caused by bacteria living off the milk as a as a nutrient media in a similar vein the breasts are producing a lot of milk and if it doesn't move along fast enough or it gets trapped in a pocket uh, you basically get rancid milk so it sets up an infection. The antibiotics when, when a man detects it by mouth will travel all through the body and eradicate bugs everywhere, including in the affected breasts. Um, obviously when we're choosing the antibiotics, we know that some of it is gonna leach into the milk that the baby's getting, but we think that's an acceptable risk because the antibiotics we choose are ones that we typically can use in uh, babies without causing ill effects. And in a case like this, the the risk cost benefit um, analysis is that if mom is happy, baby's happy. If mom isn't happy, baby isn't happy. So this is something that you want to treat as soon as you suspect it because it's very easy to get rid of. <clears throat> no point waiting for it to blow up into a Godzilla. Um, so it's best to treat it early. So that's uh, mastitis. It's very simple um, in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for watching and stay well.